Welcome to Dolores Reads. Today's book is Farfelina and Marcel by Holly Keller. Farfelina and Marcel by Holly Keller. For John and Josie, the rain fell all morning. It splattered on the pond and splashed on Farfelina's leaf. She found a dry spot and ate it. Hey, said a little voice, you're eating my umbrella. Farfelina peered over the edge. A small gray bird was huddled underneath. Farfelina liked his soft feathers and his gentle eyes. I'm Farfelina, she said, and she slid down to the ground. My name is Marcel, said the bird. He liked Farfelina's smile and her pretty colors. The rain turned to drizzle and Farfelina wanted to play. I'll hide and you find me, she said. Marcel agreed. Farfelina hid under a fern close to the ground because she knew that Marcel couldn't climb. Now I'll hide, said Marcel when he found her and he hid right behind the tree because he knew that Farfelina moved slowly. I can take you for a ride on the pond, said Marcel. Farfelina inched her way up to Marcel's back. You tickle, said Marcel, and he slipped into the water. Farfelina giggled. There's so much to see, she said. Farfelina and Marcel played together every day. They liked the same games and they liked each other. But one day, Farfelina was not herself. I'm not sick, she told Marcel, just a little uncomfortable. I need to climb up onto a branch and rest for a while. I'll wait for you, Marcel called as Farfelina made her way up the tree. Marcel watched until Farfelina was completely out of sight. Then he settled himself in the grass and waited. Night came and then morning, but Farfelina didn't come down. Marcel called to her, but she didn't answer. He was very worried and terribly lonely. Weeks went by. The afternoons grew longer and warmer, and Marcel went to the pond. He was growing, and when he looked at his reflection in the water, he hardly recognized himself. He went back to the tree every day to look for Farfelina, but she was never there. And after a while, he gave up. At the top of the tree, Farfelina was snuggled in a blanket of glossy silk. She was growing too. Do you see it right there? Maybe that's Farfelina. The sky was blue and clear the morning she was ready to come out and open her beautiful new wings. She had no idea how long she had been up in the tree and she floated down to find Marcel. I'll just wait, said Far Farfelina when she didn't see him and she sat on a flower. Night came and then morning, but Marcel wasn't there. 
Farfalina was tired and confused. She fluttered around a bit and went to the pond. The pond was glassy smooth, except for the ripples made by a large, handsome goose who was swimming in solitary, solid, in solitary circles. Farfalina shivered with disappointment. She went to the pond every day to look for the small gray bird named Marcel, but he never came. One morning, the goose stopped his silent rounds and spoke to her. You must like it here, he said. Farfalina fluttered a bit. I've been waiting for a friend, she said sadly, but I don't think he'll come. Marcel liked her smile and her bright, brilliant colors. I know how you feel, he said. I lost a friend too. She, va she just vanished into thin air. Farfalina liked his sleek feathers and his gentle eyes. A ride around the pond might cheer you up, Marcel said. Farfalina thought it would, and she settled herself on Marcel's back. You see, right there, there's, there's Farfalina. It's funny, Marcel said, but I feel as though I've known you a long time. I was just thinking the same thing, said Farfalina. My name is Farfalina. What's yours? Marcel stopped suddenly. He beat the water with his strong wings. Then he swam around and around and around. It's me, Farfalina, he shouted. It's me, Marcel. Is that really you? It is, Far Farfalina shouted back. They looked at each other and laughed. Yeah, looks like they're laughing. By evening, they had explained everything and they fell asleep smiling at the stars. That must be the stars. And there they are sleeping. Farfalina and Marcel spent the rest of the summer playing just as they had before. Marcel was careful not to fly too fast because he knew that Farfalina couldn't keep up. Farfalina didn't hide in the flowers because she knew that Marcel would never find her. And when the leaves on the trees around the pond turned, turned red and gold, they decided to go south. See the leaves turning color there. Together. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification so you will know when we upload new videos. So keep on reading until next time.